Hello, my name is Bria and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to give you a book review on a book that I love, which is Jubilee by Margaret Walker, and tell you a little bit about what the book is about, why I like it, why the things that I ne didn't necessarily like, and hopefully by the end of this video you really want to pick it up, but if not, I understand. So Jubilee is a book that is based in oral history and family research and is written by a poet. So that says a lot of things and I just really think this book is well done, well crafted and well put together to have historical fiction, you know, written a hundred years or published a hundred years after the ending of the Civil War and the ending of slavery, but also be interesting enough in 2022 or just throughout the time that it's been published to be interesting enough to still grip and grab readers. I think it's a great, great historical fiction. So what is this book about? This book follows Viri, who is born enslaved on this plantation in Georgia. She is the daughter of an enslaved woman and a daughter of a plantation owner. And you, through this book, it's 500 pages and you follow Viri's life. And you follow through three specific time periods. The first one is antebellum, so before the war. The second one is during the Civil War. And the third one is the Reconstruction period after the war and after she's freed and she moves and you see them try to resettle and start a life after this new phase of her life. So what did I like about the book? One, Margaret Rocker is a poet. So it's beautifully written and also as background, well the story of Viri is the story of Margaret Walker's great grandmother. The story of Margaret Walker's great grandmother was told to her by her grandmother and this story really does a great job of showing everyday life of enslaved people and showing the rituals, the customs, what people did when people died, like how they handle this, how do they handle like illnesses and treating different things, how they handled, you know, just like free time relationships, tangle snoring, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there are a bunch of like, there's just so much detail. And as someone who's like introducing, like learning about the Civil War or learning about slavery or learning about the lives of enslaved people from Black people, but also from someone who did a lot of research, who had a lot of family history, who combined all these different elements. I think that's, it's just so, just well done. And also, Margaret Walker not only had her family history and a lot of like reality and true and facts were put into this story, she also spent a lot of time working on this, like 30 years, if I remember correctly. And her thesis when she got her PhD was this project like this is her thesis you can see how much how well developed it is you know she combines all these oral history and research and her words to create a story that's like interesting and engaging and i just think it's great so that is overall the things that i liked about jubilee i also oh something i really loved was the different perspectives that are included in the book so there's viri and you really she's the core of the book she's through viri we see lives of other people on the plantation and one of my favorite characters is Zeke the preacher and so you see the lives of other people but you also and you also see the lives of like people she had relationships with who may not stay in the story or stay with her but you see them throughout time because of Viri and you also see unfortunately to be honest the the in the owner the plantation owners or the people that are the decision makers you see them through very and personally I did it's not something I actually liked about the book but there are some things I learned because I got their perspectives in the book like the decision makers or like uh like the decisions people made and like why they made them in like history but also you got details about them traveling to other places and just like how that worked just like everyday life and you also got some details in like the confederacy and like the money and like the, the way that people these people were thinking i again didn't necessarily love being in their heads but i will won't pretend like i didn't learn something like through them but also through very you I don't know I just feel like through Viri she Viri is like the focal point but you get other perspectives and 
I will say, I don't know how I felt about Beery. Like there were some times I was like, girl, you are annoying and you're looking down on other people. But then also there's so there's the point where like, of course, I'm not going to agree with everybody and what they think. And it's good to hear, like, it's good to know like other perspectives. But on the other side, there are people that disagreed with her and like actually disagreed with her in the book and things like that. So I really enjoyed that there were all these other perspectives and characters that were added it wasn't just like Beery's perspective and Beery's right and that's it you know so I really just feel like this book is so well done like I feel I was gripped by this book I feel like I learned so much and it's a great entry point historical fiction to learning about slavery and the civil war from a black woman's perspective written by a black woman and oh, just so well done so I would love to talk more about this book. So if you have interest in reading it, I would love to do a reread. If you have interest in discussing it in the comments, definitely want to hear about it. But let me know if you have interest in picking it up. Have a good day.